this is Mike from Red20RC. Uh, today's just going to be a quick recap on a project that I did last year. Um, this is more just to remind myself than anything else. Um, this is the Microwing UAV. Um, so, what was it? The idea was when I looked at things like the Trimble Gate Wing and the Sensible IEB and things like all well, great wings, um, but the cost of them was ridiculous. It's like 20, 40k to get something that apparently you don't need any experience to fly into the air. But that's another story. Um, and I thought, well, let's see if we can do something a bit um, cheaper, basically, because I'm a cheapskate. So what I did was I took the original um, microwing design that you remember, which was a, a foam board um, wing with the KFM three steps, so three layers. And what I did was I made it same span, made it slightly deeper to give me a bit more um, surface area, put a blunt nose section in the middle and turned it into a KFM7, so that's one step on the bottom and two on the top to give it a, an asymmetrical section. Um, now this is actually just white foam board painted, um, just because I wanted it to look cool, because I wanted it to look good as well, proof point. Um, yeah, and and that's it. Okay, so here we are looking top down at the microwing UAV. Um, so yeah, so the original idea was to have a removable payload section on the bottom to carry sort of downward facing camera, that sort of thing. Um, but for purposes of testing and balancing the wing out, I used the, the trusty old Mobius on some, some Velcro on the top. Um, so yeah, everything's spread out within the wing and it's actually built into the wing. Um, there's recesses here that were just covered over by tape, but yeah, we've got 9 gram servos driving the control surfaces. We've got the standard size um, GPS module. We've got an FR Sky D8, I think, receiver in there and the 433 MHz telemetry out the other side. If I take this clip out here, we'll be able to see inside. Now, of course, I have to use a clip because you can't use magnets because if you put a magnet in it, it'll screw up the compass on the control. Um, so, yes, inside we've got room for a 1,000 milliamp hour three-cell battery. We've got power unit, speed controller, and the, um, the HK Pilot Mini 2.5. Now, I know there's the, the Micro now, which is even better, um, but that wasn't available last year when I did this. Um, so, yeah, so... That's it, very, very simple. Um, if I just plug it in, I've got to try and switch it on. Hopefully we'll get some life in it. And there you go, beautiful, it's all working. Um, very simple, all I had it um, programmed for with the, I didn't even bother setting up a six, seven position switch on the Tyrannus. All I really wanted was um, normal manual flight, return to home and auto for testing. Um, so yeah, so that's it. What we'll do now is we'll have a look at some some flight footage, uh, but I just wanted to show you the wing before before we got going.
you go. It flies um, and it works and it flies autonomously, which is what I set out to do. Um, so what do I think about it going forward? Well, it's, it's pros and cons. Um, the, obviously there's a problem with the 1000 mAh battery that's only giving me sort of like 5 or 6 minutes of, um, of flight time, um, which even on a good day is barely going to give me a kilometre range, um, which is no good for actual sort of UAV type surveying work, especially if I'm going to put a bigger payload with a bigger camera on the bottom of it. Um, then we come to the to the power um, with this three cell setup with a small um, prop power was was very marginal um, particularly in the in the windy weather that I was testing it in um, we almost needed full throttle to, to, to keep it up um, and then there's the the KFM wing I got nothing but good things to say about the KFM wing for these smaller um, smaller type wings and also there's even things like the FPV 49 um, things like that they fly really really well uh, but again for something that we need for slow stable flight I'm not sure whether the, the KFM wing is is right um, it doesn't have much of a glide path and also there's this problem with um, very extreme changes in pitch and um, with elevator which which can be a bit of a problem um, yeah so alternatives obviously we look to a, a proper um, air full section. Uh, I think the size is about right. In actual fact, to, to test the theory, went out and got a, a Team Black Sheep Kuiperina. Now that's exactly the same wingspan, um, pretty much the same wing area, but it is, it's a moulded um, airfoil. And um, the most important thing with this is the power setup. On that, I'm using a two cell 3300 milliamp power battery with an 8 inch prop on would you believe it a 22 size multi rotor motor um, so it's a, I've got it on a 2206 2200 it's actually the new V2 baby beast from Hobby King um, and that is launches at 50% power and you know we're getting 20-25 minutes of flight time out of it which is absolutely awesome and it's got a wide speed range, it handles well you know I was flying it the other day I got out to a kilometre in under three minutes and I got coming back with the wind behind me I've got a, um, a downwind flat out speed of around about 80-90k an hour so this is really good and it's carrying full FPV gear, full size FPV gear as well uh, full size receiver, it's carrying an OSD, it's carrying a GoPro um, you know it's even carrying more weight than this so you know maybe we could try a different weight setup on a wing like this uh, um, uh, and see what happens um, so yeah so good project uh, well worth doing um, um, maybe it'll lead on to, to something else in the future uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye